I'm from a family of eight. Uh, I've come from a broken family in Brooklyn, um, you know, dysfunctional. My first foster home was a nightmare. Um, I was physically abused in that home, and I don't mind saying it and sharing that story. Um, and I was rescued from that abusive situation by the profession of social work and a social worker. I was three years old. I got rescued from that abusive situation, and I can remember just like it was yesterday. The day I left, I knew something was going on because I used to hear them talking about something. I was three years old now, mind you. And one day I woke up, and then the lady that I was staying with, who was very mean and vicious, by the way, she got me dressed. She got put, put on a baseball, she put on a baseball cap and a baseball jacket, and she took me outside, and she kind of slammed me down on the steps very forcefully, and she spun on her heels, went in the house, and slammed the door. I was three years old in Brooklyn, sitting out on that stoop, thinking that I must not be worth anything because she set me out like a piece of trash. I remember formulating this idea in my mind at three years old that this is the way the world is. You can never count on anybody. Don't look for anybody ever to help you because nobody's ever going to be there because the same way you're being left out here, that's the way it's going to be for the rest of your life. So don't ever depend on anybody. And it's a shame that a three-year-old could be sitting out on a stoop in Brooklyn having those thoughts run through their head. And all of a sudden, after what seemed like an eternity, a cab pulled up. And the door opened, and out of the cab came a social worker. And he walked up the steps, and he took me by the hand, and he walked me down the steps. And he opened the back door of the cab, and there was this beautiful, beautiful woman sitting there, and she was my saving grace, and her name was Miss Ruth Alexandra Cox, and that was my foster mother. And then I sat down in the cab, and there was, a little, there was a little boy sitting on the other side of her, and he leaned forward and looked at me, and I leaned forward and looked at him, and I had just gotten reunited with my youngest of my older brothers. When I got reunited with my brother, he and I then grew up together in a foster home in Amityville under the loving direction of Miss Ruth Alexandra Cox and my father, the late Odin Cox. And because of what they did and what they gave to me, I always made a commitment that I said that I was going to give back and do for others, especially what my loving foster mother, Ruth Alexandra Cox, did for me. Um, and I went through some really tough times prior to coming back to Suffolk Community College. I went through a really dark period in my life because, um, you see, my foster mother passed away, and she was my saving grace. I was unfortunate enough to find her in the house, and she had passed away. Um, that was very, very traumatic for me, um, and for a long time, I was in a deep, dark hole, um, and because of all the love and the kindness and guidance that she gave to me, I was able to pick myself up from the ashes and rebuild myself, and after I went through that uh, horrific experience, um, I had some dark days, I came out of the darkness, and then I came here to Suffolk Community College to complete what I started. So um, I see, I, I've seen both sides of the coin. I've seen some of the darkest days that I could imagine, but I've seen a lot more bright days. And because of my experience, um, that's why I feel very fortunate to be here and have an opportunity to share my story. And whenever I get a chance, I like to share the story. And when I came back to Suffolk, I had just come out of a real dark period. So it was a really, really great opportunity for me to really, really get back into being the person that I, that I know that I could be. And Suffolk gave me an opportunity to do that in a big way.